Welcome back. September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month. It's an inherited blood disorder that affects the everyday life of those diagnosed. In tonight's Eye on Health Report, News 10's Danielle Johnson tells us how a local organization is helping to make life more manageable for patients. Sickle cell is an inherited disease where the red blood cells lose oxygen, causing them to clog and prevent blood flow to other organs. Doctors say when both parents have the disease or the trait, one out of four of their children are likely to be born with a distressing disorder. They don't look sick when they go in, but they're, they're going through pain, and so they need the help. Help the Sickle Cell Association of South Louisiana push to provide at any moment. Our goal is to start getting with them at the age of 12 or 13. Erin Fulbright says the organization is a vital source for its members, oftentimes connecting patients to help they may not have gotten on their own. And empowering them to speak up for themselves and to advocate for their best um, health care. Anyone can inherit the illness. However, studies show that one in 365 African Americans are born with sickle cell disease. And according to the Louisiana Department of Health, about 200 children diagnosed with sickle cell disease are right here in Lafayette. Fulbright says when in crisis, symptoms may vary. If they get overheated, if they're playing too much, so like with our children in school, like we let, like to let the school know and the teachers, they can't be as active in PE as they would like or, you know, maybe have to take breaks during recess, come in and get water. They have to stay hydrated. Um, in the cold, they can during rain. It just depends on the environment and that, and that patient. Some don't have very many crises and can go, you know, years without it, months without one. Erin encourages patients to reach out for support, whether it be financial or medical. The organization will also host a sickle cell walk and blood drive at the end of the month. You can visit our website, KOLFY.com, for those details. Daniel Johnson, KOLFY News 10.